Hi and hello to everyone. In this video, we are going to work out a problem, a practice problem I can say, uh, which is based on the modulation and demodulation. Right? We are going to see about the, particularly this is the double side band suppressed carrier type amplitude modulation. Okay. So in this question, what is given is, they have given a message signal M of t, whose spectrum is given as M of f. It is multiplied with this signal. Okay, we can take this as a carrier signal, right? And the result is passed through a low pass filter. The output is y of t, which we say as a scrambled output. That is your input message signal is converted to some other form of the output y of t, which is given as the scrambled output. The first question is the, they are asking to draw the spectrum of y of t. Okay, right? So we shall do that. Okay, for that first thing, we should be finding out what is the signal available at the output of the multiplier? What is the signal available at the output of the multiplier? Right? For that, we just multiply the spectrum of m of t along with the spectrum of this signal, which is 2 cos 3000 pi t. Okay. Let me give the name for this signal as c of t. That is the carrier. Okay. Right? So, we have to, so uh, we just multiply the spectrum of m of f along with the spectrum of C of T, which is C of F at the output, right? So first thing, if we start with the carrier signal, C of T is 2 cos 30,000 pi T. Okay, what is 30,000 pi? It is nothing but 2 pi F C T. Can I write like this, right? So what is F C? So uh, pi is there, T is there. So 30,000 is equal to 2 F C. So F C is nothing but your 15,000, right? So we got the carrier frequency, which is 15,000. Okay, now what is the Fourier transform of the signal? What is the Fourier transform of One second. Yeah. What is the Fourier transform of this signal? Okay, we see here we have the signal 2 cos 2 pi 15,000 T. The Fourier transform, we already we made a video for cos, the Fourier transform would be cos 2 pi f c t. The Fourier transform would be 1 by 2 del of f minus f c plus 1 by 2 del of f plus f c. Okay, we already made a uh, video for the Fourier transform of cos 2 pi f c t and sin 2 pi f c t. You can watch that video. Okay, from that, uh, what I am doing is we have 2 here, I am putting the 2 here. For this, I am uh, this f c, I am using instead of 15,000, I am using simply the term f c. Okay, so 2, 2 gets cancelled. So the spectrum would be del of uh, del of f minus f c plus del of f plus f c. So this is the c of f. Why I am putting c of f? Because I name the signal as the carrier signal c of t whose spectrum is c of f. Okay. Now let us sketch the spectrum. Okay. We know uh, uh, this is a uh, spectrum means it is the x axis is your frequency, right? When f you can see here this f is the variable. When f is equal to f c inside the braces of del, right? When f is equal to f c, it becomes zero, del of zero. Okay, so when f is equal to f c, it becomes one. Similarly, here you would put an f value such that here it should be zero. So when f is equal to minus f c, when f is equal to minus f c, okay, what is amplitude? We have the amplitude as one. Okay, so this is the spectrum of the uh, given signal. That is your two cos, two cos two pi. Uh, 15,000 T. This is the spectrum. Okay. Now, we know the, in the question they have clearly given the spectrum of the message signal is given. Now, we have found out the spectrum of the, uh, what I can say, the carrier signal, which is the C of F we have found out. Okay. Now, what is this? Output of the multiplier. Output of the multiplier is nothing but, multiplier output is nothing but the product of product of message spectrum and the carrier spectrum CF. Okay. So, message spectrum is given in the proportion, it is M of F. 
and carrier spectrum we have just found out c of what is c of f del of f minus fc plus del of f plus fc right so by applying the property this property is called frequency shifting property this property is called frequency shifting property okay right frequency shifting property so if m of f is multiplied with this del what happens this f is converted to f minus fc so m of f is multiplied with del f plus fc this f is converted to m of f plus fc okay now what is fc we have here fc is nothing but 15k right we already know uh, what is m of f okay so this is your m of f this is your m of f given in the question right so what is this m of f minus 15k m of f plus 15k it is very simple this is going to be shifted okay if it is f minus fc for the first term look at this term f minus fc which is f minus 15k so this entire spectrum is going to be delayed by 15k 15k hertz okay so zero is delayed means this zero will be shifted to 15k so 15k will be shifted to 30k this minus 15 will be coming to zero right again i repeat okay now i am talking about m of f minus fc right what is happening this entire thing will be delayed that means it will be moved this way towards the right side okay so 15 is delayed to 15 so 15 will come to 30 you can see the 30 here 0 will come to fc minus 15 will come to 0 so this part okay you can share it this is m of f minus 15k now we look at the m of f plus 15k what is this m of f plus 15 so m of f is the message signal spectrum it is advanced by 15k right so what will happen the 0 will be moving to minus 15 15 will be moving to 0 minus 15 will be moving to minus 30 right so this is the spectrum of just i am giving a shape uh, to differentiate that this is the spectrum of m of f plus 15 okay so we have done the uh, part a oh no, no we have just completed the multiplier output right now what is the multiplier output you can see from the question multiplier output is going to the uh, input of the low pass filter okay the filter frequency is 0 to 15 so 0 to 15 kilohertz is going to be permitted greater than 15 kilohertz is going to be blocked right so we have the spectrum multiplier output spectrum is this this is the multiplier output spectrum okay right and it is output output of the multiplier uh, is the scrambled output output of the low pass filter is the scrambled output right okay so what is the frequency I mean what is the permitting frequency permitting frequency is 0 to 15 right so 0 to 15 is permitted that is 0 to 15 and 0 to minus 15 is permitted greater than 15 this part is blocked okay so that's why i have drawn only 0 to 15 and 0 to minus 15 so this is the spectrum of the uh, output of the low pass filter that is your spectrum of y of t that is y of f clear okay now come to the part b part of the question part b part of the question states that they are asking they are asking to suggest a method to descramble y of t to obtain m of t right so what we have done a message m of t is converted to y of t they are asking the reverse process from y of t they are asking how will you get back the message okay that's a yes. using synchronous detection we can do it very easily what i am doing here is the scrambled output y of t is again multiplied with the carrier multiplied with the carrier which is 2 cos um, 30000 pi t the output i am giving the name b of t right so let me let us write in the frequency domain so what is b of f b of f is the product of y of f and c of f this is the carrier okay uh, already i have explained what is c of f this is the spectrum of c of f right and uh, 
uh, by frequency shifting property i can write it like this right so you are you can compare here your y of f your y of f at the input when multiply with 2 uh, 2 cos 30000 pi t you will be getting b of t whose spectrum is b of f b of f is nothing but this okay this is your b of f right so now you can compare what is happening we have y of f what we need f minus f c what is f minus f c it is delayed so zero will be delayed to zero will be delayed to f c f c will be delayed to 2 f c minus f c will be coming to zero this entire thing is moving or delayed to the right by f c okay this f c means zero will come to f c f c will go to 2 f c minus f c will come to zero so this part is done this is this part okay then what about the second term f plus f c f plus f c is nothing but advanced right so this entire spectrum will be moving towards the left by f c so zero will come to minus f c minus f c will go to minus 2 f c plus f c will come to zero okay so this is this part this is spectrum okay but did we obtain the what i can say did we obtain the message signal what is a message signal message signal is like this where is a message signal look at the shape of the spectrum this is the message signal it's given in the question right but look at what we are getting we are getting some spectrum like this okay so what we have to do we need to add a low pass filter we need to add a low pass filter which is permitting 0 to 15 kilohertz okay 15 kilohertz this output is m of t so what will happen when b of f is passed through the low pass filter which permits between 0 to 15 means only this part of the spectrum is permitted greater than 15 is blocked okay so the output output of d scrambler output of the d scrambler okay is this okay which is similar to the message signal right okay this is a very interesting problem right okay so um, i hope uh, you learned something useful from this uh, class right one more thing just uh, to say that nothing you see what is happening here is they are saying scrambling scrambling is nothing but we can take it as like a modulation descrambling is nothing but demodulation okay right any doubts you please ask in the comment section i am very happy to help you thanks for listening happy learning